Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Jersey and today we are going to be working on our orchard entrance. But before that, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, a great holidays. Uh, this week we're going to be celebrating New Year's. So uh, I'm excited for that and I hope that you guys are making good plans and uh, fun, everything safe and that you guys are also playing a lot of Dinkum uh, during the holidays. So we are back. And like I said, today we are going to be working on an orchard entrance. So this video, I'm going to leave it full, right? Uh, I've been asking for that, for advice on that. And you guys truly like the long videos. You guys like to see the whole process. So we're going to be seeing the process happen. And the main important thing is that you're going to be seeing me thinking on the layout. I do have um, the way I usually work on Dincom. I have this notebook and basically it's like graph paper and you have square on each uh, square and each square is equal to a square in income. And then I, I do try to create kind of like a blueprint of what I'm trying to build in in that sense. And, and of course, no, no, everything's going to be perfect because as you are working and designing, things end up changing a little bit. Um, some things don't work out the way you put it down on paper. But that way, I'm, I'm not too lost of what I'm trying to do and and just just sitting there. But there, there'll be moments that you see the character kind of stops, kind of slows down because either I'm thinking of what I'm the way if if it's going to be working the way I want it to work or do I need to change and, and make changes. So when you see that it's, it's basically in real time, I, I was thinking, I was debating uh, where do I want to place uh, each of the of the trees that are going to be placed. So the way I did this is um, I made the entrance to towards the double bridge. Uh, as you can see, two sidewalks, three steps for the row and then two sidewalks. Because uh, since this is kind of like main row, main, main uh, entryway. So I went ahead and made it a little bit uh, wider compared with the rest of the island at the moment. That's usually it's only one 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 square of the sidewalk on this one made it uh, double. So the length of the whole entrance is going to end up being uh, one side ends up being uh, 38. The other side is going to be 38. And how deep are we going to go? Basically, it's going to be 40 tiles uh, deep for the. Uh, so, yeah, it's 40. So I wanted to do it grand at the moment. Uh, and like I always say, in the future, as we're building and if I ever need to make this smaller, then I'll make it smaller. But at the moment, I did want to make it uh, big. Uh, that way I can make a cool design. That way the map, in the map, you, we always have a cool design as well. And, and that's what I, I'm envisioning. Uh, if you are following this build and your area where you kind of want to make this is not as big, then since everything I make is identical right whatever we make on the left is going to be the same thing on the right and when we go to the back side it's just a little bit flip but it, it's almost in the same position it's just if you were looking at it the other way so just cut everything down in half or to a number that works for you so if i'm go uh let, let's say let's say if i'm going let uh 40 40 deep you can go 20 and then from 20 uh the half point will be 10. And, and that's kind of the, the idea. So, uh, so yeah, so um, instead of planting the trees directly that on just in case if I don't like it, I don't want to waste my seeds at the moment. And I kind of wanted to see how the pattern is going to look. What I did was is I used uh, the, the dark wood uh, flooring tile to to place where i'm planning to plant the trees in the future so when once we get that you're gonna see that because i didn't i didn't want to plant and be like oh wait i'm off by two square i don't like the way it looks so let's go ahead and cut it down and and plant another one i didn't want to waste the seeds that i have uh, at the moment i've, I've been gathering and, and for a long time i already had a, a lot of apples so it's not like it's gonna be a problem but i don't want to waste just just waste them so, so here you, you see it and right here, um, the whole idea is I'm going to make like little sections and then 
in the middle is going to be another section of different fruit trees surrounding other fruit trees and then we're going to make kind of like an oval uh, circle and and that is a little it's going to be hard to kind of explain until we kind of halfway into it here i was trying to decide if i wanted to use different tiles for the different trees that i'm planting that way i kind of knew but i i went ahead and just used the same one because i think i was gonna get confused on which tree was one and i do have it written down on paper uh which tree kind of want to use like on the main center once we make that main circle uh or oval it's gonna be the apples and then it's gonna be surrounded by the uh the blue fruit and then we're gonna do the cherries and then in inside the cherries we're gonna do like the lime trees uh so yeah so uh, so that's basically the concept that i have in, in my mind at the moment so at some point as i'm building this i kind of needed to see it and i don't have a helicopter yet so i couldn't see in a way the design and as you're building you don't see it how it's looking on the map so what i kind of did um in some point this video we're gonna see it i make a big kind of like a small little hill like a little terrace uh, past the road so I can kind of walk up there and I can kind of look down and see if everything is kind of shaping the way that I kind of want it like to turn and to shape and and it, and it was kind of cool because from from that angle from the top you can kind of see what you're working on and see the layout and if you and you can kind of envision, okay, and one day this is gonna be with trees, it's gonna be full, and how will they look like? So here is, um, the, the good thing right now is that you can kind of follow the, the build. If you were, if you kind of wanted to make it, you can kind of count the steps and and see where, where I'm placing it. In YouTube, don't forget that you can actually, uh, you will have to mute the video, that way the video doesn't sound so weird, but you can slow down the footage of the video so that way instead of playing in real time you can slow it down and just mute it put your own music your own little background music and you can slow it down so you can follow it or or write it down and and that way you know how many steps i'm taking in each direction that way you can place the trees and and that'd be my best way to recommend for you guys to to follow it because i know there's going to be a lot of counting even for me as you can tell right here i'm like Okay, wait a minute. And I have to like refocus, rethink, and how am I making this kind of oval circle happen? Where do I need to go in the next uh, kind of like uh, square? So everything can from, eventually everything can look like a circle or an oval. So here I needed to see how everything's looking at because I didn't know if I needed to go a little bit more to the left or a little more to the right. Uh, the way I had it on my paper uh, written down was, I think I needed to go now like a sharp to uh, going a little more sharper to the uh, to the top instead of just making a little more wider that way I can start kind of closing in the gap and so I'm so I made this little temporary uh, kind of like a little staircase so I can kind of get up there look at it from the top see what I'm building and see what I need to do and here is where I decided okay I'm gonna do the I'm gonna just bring it up to there. We're gonna have a, a gap. Uh, that, that's why I put the grass three squares there because eventually that's gonna be like a walkway going through the orchard as well. And then I'm now I'm working on the backside. So on this video, what we have is the first half of this side. Eventually, at the in the video, we'll see we start cleaning up the other side, cutting all the trees, trying starting to flatten out the. Uh, the dirt, uh, the land as well on the other side, and but we didn't get to work on that other half. We we did get part of the sidewalk, we get part of the road done, and but we still need to do a lot of the work that we did here. We need to do it on the other side, and and right now I did right now out of the seeds that I need. So I need to go to my grass farm in the back and start collecting more seeds, and probably gonna have to jump a couple of days so I can gather more and more seeds. Uh, and and that's why when I when I do my farming right now in in the island to make money or for resources, I only do usually the wheat and the sugar canes because they're all year round, so I don't have to worry about wasting any any of my other 
farming stuff. So, uh, but the, the best way that I found to get grass real quickly is you make a grass farm that you want, put sprinklers, they'll grow, get what you need, and then go to the next day, let them get uh, water, and just keep skipping throughout the day so until you get a, a quick amount, and and then you have it. So you don't worry about your crops if you don't if, if you've got seasoned crops that you're growing that you wanted to do something with them then you don't skip like that because you could lose the moment and then all your crops will die and i don't want you guys to to lose anything that, that you guys have um but yeah uh that's why right now on my island i only do the year long crops so because i i skip throughout the day so much sometimes to to get resources that i need so right now i need to do for probably for the next two days, I'm gonna be uh, gathering a lot of uh, resources again that I need. I need more. I need to create more more sidewalk steps because I, I did right now. I'm pretty sure I'm very close to running out of uh, the black cobblestone also, and and I think there was something else that I needed to start concentrating on. I know I'm gonna have some help. Uh, some of, of uh, the the people that help me collect resources, they're gonna be. Uh, jumping in and in their islands and they're gonna bring uh, resources uh, and and that's gonna be great because that helps me not to just be dependent I know my wife helps me a lot as well and, and so yeah okay so yeah so you're gonna use a lot of resources no matter what what you're planning to do if you make it this this big or small plan that you're gonna need a lot of resources for this uh, not just for and then depending on the grass you want to use uh, also to or unless you wanted to keep it there and and there's many options that you will have as as, a, as you design this area yourself um, I'm gonna design it the way that I wanted to feel in my island at the moment but you may want to use a different type of grass you may want to use instead of making an orchard may, maybe you want to create a huge park and I, I and I actually bring that idea because I almost debated if I want to do this as a huge entry park as well instead of an orchard I can use it as a park and it can work both ways I can make it half and half I can still look like an orchard but we can do seating so so this bill has potential to do many different uh, approaches uh, towards towards the bill so as you're building it your imagination should be kicking in to do things that you see for yourself like oh I can make this happen in this section because I want to add this to the island and and yeah so so don't forget about that because like always all these videos that I'm making all all the builds all the scenarios is to get you inspired so if you if you're stuck and you need uh, something to inspire you watch this video duplicate the bill follow it along but as long uh, as as then at the moment that you feel like oh i kind of want to do this in this area then go ahead and do it you know and incorporate your idea into the bill and and then it will become even more of your own more unique and and then slowly you're going to be developing that creative side of and as you're following along throughout the videos and through the process and through the builds you're going to be taking ideas from the bills and then incorporating your own and and that's the goal and and that's and i'm excited for those time and for that that time that, that you guys keep creating and, and next thing i know is like wow what amazing build you did compared to what i created now i kind of now want to you know get inspired from your build and take it to my island and and then do it in my way and and that's and, and we, and we want to do that you know as, as a community we want to be creative we want to uh, motivate each other keep pushing each other so we can do uh, amazing things and then and then James as he's watching this video we can he'd be like man the community is exploding let's go ahead and and create more items for they can get more inspired okay so right here and this is why I created this because I from that angle from the top to view like that to see where the trees I wanted to see where everything is shaping up now in the map everything is appearing and we are able to see where things are falling and see if, if something looks like out of whack right if, if my if I need to move uh, a square higher a square more to the side because it's not shaping up the way that it should be shaping up here's where I use 
almost all my grass. I mean, all my grass that I've collected, that I had saved up, and I thought I had a lot, it just went away. Because this, this section of the island is gonna be so big, uh, the entryway, that that's why I need to like, you know, go to my grass farm, collect grass, skip another day, and do the same process until I have enough for the other half of, of the island. Uh, not, not the island, but the other half of this build that, that we're creating. And this is why I didn't want to plant all the trees at first, because right now you imagine I have all these trees and then they're growing, right? And then if I needed to change something, if something doesn't look right, or even, even as I'm making the build, maybe I do kind of want to change my mind, something doesn't feel right, and then I have to cut the tree. And I, when the trees are growing, also they're kind of blocking the view. So then I couldn't see exactly if I have everything laid out, uh, laid out correctly. So, so yeah, so at the moment, this is the, my, the best approach. But if you feel like you need to do it in a whole different way, go ahead and do it. And then let me know, leave it in the comments and say, hey, hey, Jersey, I, I found a, a, a way that we can do this, that, that you can see it even with the trees uh, and, and stuff like that once you're sure or any, any creative way or any other ideas that you guys are thinking that could work great. Uh, leave it, leave it in the comments because then um, I can maybe utilize that comment uh, to get inspired, to find a way to incorporate that idea, or maybe something that I didn't think of that will look really great. So right now, the, the front part of this build, we, we, we're finally using those lights. I'm hoping that I can keep them. I, I'm trying to incorporate those lights uh, for a specific reason. Uh, eventually, there's gonna be a fence in front of them. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the hedge fence uh, to close it out and see how everything is gonna be feeling um if i want a fence maybe fence don't work maybe we'll we'll take him uh take the fence off i still got a couple of trials and an error to to do on this build but now the next part is the cleaning process and this is depending on your island depending on the area that you're working on it's gonna it could take a little bit of time but it's the same thing we're basically going to be duplicating what we did on that side, we're gonna be duplicated on this side. So right now I'm just working on, we're gonna be working on the sidewalk, then we're gonna work on the road. And then I think I was able to end up putting the, the light and clean a little bit more. And then I, I got to the point that I, 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 I stopped for the day. So and we're gonna work on this recording so we can get it uh, uploaded for you guys. And then I'm gonna be working on the second part. Uh, but like I said before, I need to get resources and stuff like that before I get to the point that we can record it. Uh, and it's still, uh, we're still in the, um, kind of in the holiday season, you know, we, we are going to be, we're in the week where we're going to do, uh, uh, New Year's and a lot of people are celebrating that. A lot of people are still off. A lot of people still are traveling. People are still with family, uh, work work schedules are all over the place and I, I know my work schedule I, I get i'm going back to work uh and then we got a day off as well so it's 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 fun it's it's it's, it's kind of like a very creative week when to find the right time between family and 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 working and then also putting time so we can create these videos and take time to gather resources so it's 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 been fun it's 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 not something that i'm I'm used to doing, but it's cool to plan it and to make time and for and to think of for for you guys to be excited to watch this video so so I can hear from you guys to see what you guys are thinking so far of the build. Okay, so we're we're still cleaning, we're still and this is the process, and this is the process that I debated on. Like I said, I, I was like, man, should I keep all this or just fast forward? But every time I ask, I know you guys are happy to see it you guys enjoy the long video so so we're we're still keeping them uh, at the moment that uh, the feedback becomes different and you guys do prefer skipping some other stuff then then we'll start doing that that way we don't we don't take too much of your time as you're watching this video because I want it to be uh, videos that are more helpful and no and not so unhelpful but okay so so my other recommendation right now is either Either when you're doing this build and then you're following and if you're gonna follow it along or you're watching the videos and then you're gonna come back to it, 
then I will suggest to gather as much resources as possible as you can. I think that will help you. That way when you start the build, you don't have to stop so many times and to you know to, to work on the build and then I don't want you to get uninspired. So you can either work towards getting all the materials that you need, all the seeds, all the grass. Uh, you don't have to worry about crafting the item if you're just working on the main layout. And as you're working your your area and you're gonna gather a lot of resources. I gather a lot of wood. I've been gathering a lot of seeds right here. If I would have gone with the grass right here, I would have been getting so much grass. I just decided to go with the greener grass for the orchard. I still need to make more sprinklers because I kind of want to feel, put some sprinkler uh, around the area, very strategic. That way in the morning, every like it's the orchard's getting water. Um, so I, I do want to do that. So I still need to work on those. So, so yeah, so it's, it's like, so as you guys are following and seeing the material and depending which route you want to go, uh, make sure you have a lot of it. That way you can uh, plan it well. And when you guys start following it, you can, that way you don't have to stop so many times, I guess, in the, in that sense. And and because I don't want you guys to lose your your inspiration for, for this video, right? But yeah, but we're getting close. To, to this night, uh, I was running out, uh, out of energy. I realized that I, I need, I'm gonna need more materials. So there was not much, uh, if I couldn't start the second half without the material, cause I, I was gonna run out so quickly. So I decided once I finished kind of cleaning out the trees, I, I found out that it was gonna be a good point to say, okay, we're gonna, this is gonna be part one of the video. We're gonna get back to part two and we'll continue from there. I still need to do the layout. That there's gonna be uh, still some sections that I'm gonna try to extend on the side. I think they're gonna be part of the row. Like a row is gonna be going around the orchard from the outside as well. And then it's gonna take you to to the back entrance and then or to the front entrance, or you can cut through the to the orchard. And and those are ideas that I'm I'm working on paper doing the designs in my off time and and trying to design something that makes sense that will look cool and that you guys will enjoy so i still got you know the, this orchard the, this whole idea is is it's, it's a lot of planning and especially because i wanted to have some design to it and i want you guys to enjoy it okay so we're ge we're getting very close to to finishing this video uh, i saw some rocks that i want i wanted to clear out here are some more trees that we needed to cut down. I cleared that whole section of rocks right there. And and yeah, but one, one of the other things that has been happening on the channel is uh, we've been growing. Uh, I think the community is, is growing. Uh, I th uh, I've been having more comments from you guys and I see sometimes you guys interact with each other. That's been great. Uh, I love seeing that. Uh, I love that you guys are really pushing the channel to be more creative. And the other great thing is the feedback. Uh, thank you so much for the feedback, for the idea to do the the town in the in the tropics. Uh, you know, because uh, I don't want to do something that the channel doesn't want to see. But it, it, it's been great uh, getting that feedback, getting the comment that you guys are, are want to see that, and we're gonna work on that bill, and we're gonna try to make it the best as possible. And, and I'm so excited to start that part of the build and work on that town. But first, we need to finish this. And also, don't forget, if, uh, all these tools that I'm using, the electric one, they help so much. So if you don't have them or if you don't have multiples of them, work hard to get those tools because even on future builds, they help so much. I know they take money, they take resources, but they're worth the investment. And don't forget, keep an eye on the battery you've seen it on my videos uh it's really sad when they kind of they kind of break and then you gotta rework to get those materials and the money uh the money hasn't been so much of an issue if you work on crops and you have a big field you can get money very quickly but sometimes those resources and especially the blue opals they're they're a pain to find so uh so yeah but they're great tools and work hard to get though, at least one of each because they do make life so much 
easier. But don't forget, keep an eye on the battery every time you're using them and because it's very important so we can keep them uh, good and that you don't break it so you don't have to work extra hard to get them back again. And if you do break it and it's in the beginning of the day and you haven't done much, then just back out of the game, don't save it, reopen the game and you will have uh, your tools again. And I've done that a couple times, but there's been some times that I've done so much that it's not worth it. Uh, because to redo sometimes the work is not as fun as as other times, you know? And, and you're like, oh, then you lose inspiration. So then it's not worth to redo the work. But if it's early and if it's simple, then just, just restart the day. And I think I, I've talked about that in, in previous uh, videos in the past. And just go ahead and do that because that will help you uh, so much. But don't forget, work on the tools, gather materials uh, early, uh, get the resources that you need, and then work one section at a time and, and get inspired and be creative and do something else that you need to do. But right now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we're going to see you next time on part two of the Orchard Build. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.